Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dropped about five months ago as of the recording of this video. So, I mean, great time to make a review. Eh, what do you think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I know it's a little late to be reviewing a movie that came out uh, over five months ago, but... But uh, I just felt like making this review, honestly. Honestly, that's pretty much it. <laughs> And also, I've just been wanting to make this video for a while, and just I've got some uh, really cool ideas for a follow-up video if you want to see that, and that's but that's entirely up to you. Just communicate me if you want to see that or not, or maybe I'll leave that as a poll. It's really up to you. First things first, what I liked about it. I liked the movie itself. I didn't think it was a bad movie. I liked it. It's just that I feel like it could have had a lot more done with it, and just I didn't. I think it could have been a little bit better executed and just more things done with it. But anyway, with things that I liked about it, they brought back Ian Malcolm for one thing, which I think was really cool that they brought back an old character from the original movie, which they haven't done for any of the um, world movies yet, at least prior to Fallen Kingdom. Well, there was only one, but still. And also, they brought back some of the OG dinosaurs, like Rexy, and apparently the Brachiosaurus, which Ellie and um, Alan saw in the first Jurassic Park, which was actually the dinosaur that died on the burning bridge, the, that certain sad scene of the movie, but whether that's true or not, I'm not entirely sure. Also, I really loved the first scene. Apparently, it was straight from the books, though I have not read the books in a long time, not recently enough to tell you whether that's true or not. I heard that in a YouTube video, and I will link that video down in the description below. If I can find it, of course, and it all depends on that. Anyway, I really love it when movies draw stuff from the books, which most movies based off books do, but I mean, like, especially in cases of Jurassic Park, which, let's face it, is really not based on the books entirely at this point. There are only two books and five movies, so that should pretty much sum it up. They're not directly based off a book, off a book, I mean, I'm sorry. But they do indeed draw inspiration from the books. There were, there was at least, there were a couple scenes that I noticed that, um, that scene, that reminded me of the book, though I actually can't, um, no, I'm not gonna bother trying to think of them right now because it's late. And the movie itself was cool, I enjoyed it, and I really do recommend it, and I think it is a very good movie, it's just I feel like it was lacking and could have had a little bit, um, just a little bit more in the movie. Also, speaking of cool, I thought the Indoraptor was really cool. The, it was the perfect predecessor to the Indominus Rex, I think. It was really cool to see the Indoraptor oh, wandering around in the Jurassic World movie. And it, um, I wouldn't mind actually having a pet Indoraptor myself. And uh, yeah, just I think that they did a really good job designing it. And the, I am. I am personally really happy with how the Indoraptor came out. Its call is cool, a sort of whatever it is, it's, excuse my very bad impersonation of it, and it's sort of a noise that it makes, and um, I just think it's a very cool antagonist for a Jurassic Park movie, and spoiler, small spoilers for the next uh, Jurassic Park movie if you're avoiding everything, but this is this was announced by the, I'm not sure who announced it, but by someone who's working on the next Jurassic Park, the, uh, that there are not going to be any more hybrids in the next one, which I think is kind of unfortunate. I think it could have really, it would really be, have been cool for the next Jurassic movie if, like, in the scene where Blue has, Blue's blood was infused with the T-Rex's blood, that they tried to clone Blue, I mean, not clone Blue, but splice her genes into the Indoraptor, but they accidentally splice T-Rex into it, so they just end up making another Indominus Rex by mistake, which I think, but unfortunately that doesn't seem like it's going to happen, but I think, I think that's really be, have been cool for the next movie if they were going to add more hybrids into it, which unfortunately it doesn't seem like they are. And also, as a side note, I think it's really cool, the new dinosaurs they brought into it. I think the Allosaurus was a really cool decision to be added in Jurassic World, or Park, or whatever you call it at this point. 
even if it was just for a little bit, because Allosaurus, I think, is a really cool dinosaur, and one of the most famous carnivores under, of course, dinosaurs like T-Rex, and it's also, I think, I think Allosaurus is really cool, and also the Baryonyx, not one I necessarily saw coming, but still cool, and since the movie came out, it's actually um, one of my favorite dinosaurs now, though I think that was more because of the uh, Jurassic World Evolution game, but... I think the Baryonyx was really cool, and just the new dinosaurs they added are really cool. The Sinoceratops, eh, that wasn't amazing, but it was a cool dinosaur to add. And just, I liked the, all the new dinosaurs they added, into the world, including the Indoraptor. Let me think, what were the new ones? There was the Sinoceratops, there was... Let me think, there was also the Indoraptor, there was the Allosaurus the Baryonyx, and there, I think there was one other in Fallen Kingdom that hadn't been in any of the other, um, any of the other movies previously. I'm thinking from a Jurassic World Evolution, from the Fallen Kingdom patch, but, <laughs> yeah, that's all I can think of the top of my head. Now, for things I did not like about the movie, one thing that I did not like about the movie is just it felt too quick-paced. Just, when I left the theater, I had a feeling of, like, that's it. It just felt like when we were ch the Indoraptor was chasing them around the um, the Lockwood Manor, it didn't feel like the movie was coming to a close. It felt it didn't feel like the climax was coming close. It, it still felt like there was a lot to do in the movie, and also the um, it's just it's just basically it felt like they they thrust the climax and ending on us too quickly. It's like. It's like, the, oh no, the Indoraptor's just got loose and is chasing everybody around the house. Oh no, what's it gonna do? Oh, it's dead? Oh. Oh, um, now what? <laughs> and I remember just leaving the theater with a the feeling of, that's it? I waited three years for this? <laughs> I mean, not that it was a bad movie. Again, I did enjoy it, but just, I feel like... I just felt like it was too quick, and they didn't put enough in the movie, and they could have done a little bit more with it. And that, that was its biggest problem. That's pretty much all what all of my, uh, all three of my cons list, cons on my list here say here. I've got a list of pros and cons here, and the pros I've got listed are Indoraptor was cool, they brought back Ian Malcolm and the dino OG dinosaurs, was generally cool, and the first thing was cool, and the cons are felt too quick, the Indoraptor died too quickly, and they didn't do enough of it, which basically can be summed up in just, they didn't do enough of it, it just was too quick, and just, it didn't feel like there was, it didn't feel like there was enough movie in there, it's like, you order a chicken at a restaurant, and they give you a chicken, a very scrawny chicken. Very scrawny chicken. And you order a chicken leg at a restaurant, they give you a very scrawny chicken leg, and you were expecting this plump chicken leg. Well, maybe that's not the best analogy, but still, I just, I feel like they could have done quite a bit more with it, and just, I don't know. And uh, I've got a third section called Ez, which is the cliffhanger, which was something special that this Jurassic Park did, and I think partially why it felt a little empty, because this was the first Jurassic Park to have a sort of cliffhanger like that. Like, if you look at the ends of the other four Jurassic Park movies, Jurassic Park 1 ended with them leaving the island, and that was the end of it. Jurassic Park The Lost World ended... Well, I haven't seen that in a while. How did that end? It ended with them at home, the world is saved, T-Rex is going back to the island, that's sort of the end, that sort of thing. The third one ended the, uh, our heroes are leaving the island again after a crash landing, and everybody's safe and dandy, plot's resolved, Jurassic World, the, uh, Jurassic, the plot was Jurassic World was destroyed, but the Indominus Rex was defeated, everybody, well, almost everybody got off the island safely, and just that, um, and just, that's how it ended up. Everything is fine and dandy. The dinosaurs are stuck on their own little island. And everybody's safe. And then the Jurassic Park theme plays. Is na 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 that sort of thing. And everything's happy. This one, it ended where dinosaurs are now wandering the mainland. We've got this sort of hybrid thing with Blue having T-Rex blood, which doesn't seem like it's going to have any importance to the future. I mean, I think the cliffhanger is okay. I don't have anything against the cliffhanger, and just... 
Yeah, I guess I, I, it's a little better than an and the cliffhanger. It's definitely an interesting idea, and I don't have anything negative against it. It's just I just find it interesting how they did that for this particular movie. When I first left the theater, it just felt like I left it and it was like, that's it. it just I just felt like there was, it could have had a bit more on out. What I would have done differently if I were to direct a movie, and by the way, I'm not saying I, do, I, am, I would do a better job than... J.A. Barona or whoever, was J.A. Barona who directed this thing? I would not, well whoever directed it, I'm not saying I would do a better job than he would, and I am not saying that, I'm just, just, I'm not saying I would do a better job than he would, did, pretty much, and just, yeah, just don't take this the wrong way, that's just saying, this is just my opinion, what I would, what I would do to improve the movie if I would get the chance to do that, which I probably never will, except for this, but... One thing that I would do is uh, maybe I would spend more... T I would put the Lockwood Manor more in the middle of the movie and spend a bit of time chasing down the dinosaurs and just let the Indoraptor live a bit longer because it's just the Indoraptor felt like it was defeated too quickly. It felt like it just escaped, there it is, and then, boom, it's dead. <laughs> I think that's a big problem. I mean, I guess this next movie, they're going to spend more time chasing down the dinosaurs. I guess. This is all speculation at this point, but I don't know... So, I guess we'll see what happens, but the, um, I would have at least let the Indoraptor live into the next movie, because it just, can you imagine what it would be like if the Indoraptor escaped, and how much more of a cliffhanger it would be, just the Indoraptor stalking the world, ready to devour its foes. <laughs> okay, you will laugh over, but <laughs> that's, um... That is one thing I would have done to improve it. Maybe spend, maybe um, spend a bit more time hunting down the dinosaurs, or at least release the Indoraptor into the world. Because I just felt like the Indoraptor was defeated too quickly. That's one part of it. And two, there are definitely um, this is this isn't quite a different thing. Yet. This isn't quite a ser more serious thing. And this isn't a fault of J. A. Barona, of course, or anything. Or just in the nor is any of this really well that really depends on how you look at it but this isn't really something that the director depended on the director so much but just there were certainly some fan theories that i would put in there if i could though again this is just what i would have done and i'm not saying i'm not making thinking of the movie any less for not having these theories in there well, at least not any less like this is a bad movie because they didn't put this in there. This is just, these are just some fan theories that I like and will put in there. And I will link the videos and, or whatever in the description if I can find them. Credit where credit is due. But one, there was a theory where the Indoraptor was actually kind of chasing Maisie around because it was it imprinted on her somehow. So I would, one thing, and also there was in the early concept art, of Jurassic World, that of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there was two Indoraptors, a white and a black one, which I think would have been really cool. So what I would have done here is I would have kept the white and the black one, and the black one I would have kept as the vicious, murderous monster, but the white one I would have kept as the sort of, like, blue, they sort of put, um, this, this sort of thing that makes the raptor feel sympathy kind of like they said blue does in the movie and i would have made it so and one thing i would have done is at the beginning of the movie not instead of but just before the scene where the uh where they're getting the bone of the indominus rex i would have had a scene where Maisie sneaks into the into the lab and she finds the egg and the egg hatches and then this eye looks out at her and then she would do and then she would just run off in the scene would end, and we go on to the submarine scene. And so what is going on is part of Dr. Wu's and Mills, or whatever their plan is, is they, what they do is when they breed the raptors, they give them an instinctual human mother. And for the black one, they know who it is, and who, it, who that is, I, whatever, but for the white one, they don't know who it is because they can't figure it out. But they don't know it's Maisie because they don't know she snuck in, so I think that would have made a really cool scene. For late, a couple scenes in the movie, I'll make a whole. I could make a whole video on uh, my fan fiction for what I would have done differently for a fan fiction on what I would have done differently in Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom in the future. Just please tell me in the comments and leave a like if you want me to do that. But anyway, I just thought that would have made a really cool scene. And also, that's one thing I've brought in there and an old concept art and. 
maybe I would have inserted the, the theory that it spits venom the um the Indoraptor. And also, I think that the camouflage bit of the Indominus Rex, they, sh they should have showcased that a little bit in the movie. I think that would have been cool if they had done that, which they unfortunately did not, but that's fine. I assume people say or are complaining that the Indoraptor couldn't camouflage. I think the Indoraptor could camouflage, it's just it never did in the movie because it never really had a place, reason, or need to do so. That's what I assume. Uh, I think that when they added cuttlefish genes to the Indominus Rex, what they were doing, this is pretty, I think this is probably pretty obvious to everyone else, but just to clarify if it's not obvious, I think Dr. Wu says they installed it to, um, what was his excuse to uh, counter the accelerated growth rate? I think they, that's just the excuse he gave to Maltrati and they really did it because they were just trying to make a war machine along with the sort of hide from thermal cameras bit. But anyway, I think I need to end this video here now because it's running, it's over 15 minutes now and it's kind of late where I am. So anyway, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and watch my thoughts on Jurassic World Pollen Kingdom. If there's any sort of um, copyrighted anything in here that I should be crediting for, please communicate me and I will credit you as best I can in the description or where or wherever. But anyway, thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to my little um, ramble on about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video I make. So thank you for watching and. Again, I'll leave in the description any sort of theory or anything that I um, that I reference. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video I make. So see you later. Adios, everybody.